go again. Hi there. Um, welcome to my kitchen this afternoon for what is probably not going to be a long video. I just felt like um, using some uh, cooked corned beef and making a, a couple of sandwiches this afternoon. And I figured why not go live because, well, <laughs> why not? Um, these are going to be Rubens in that they're essentially uh, corned beef uh, cooked up in a cast iron skillet with uh, some cheese and uh, some sauerkraut. Nice and simple. And uh, just for the heck of it, I, de I decided since I had some extra uh, fat left over from uh, making the, uh, you know, from making this uh, corned beef, uh, I figure I might as well sear it, or at least try to render it in a cast iron pan. Okay, that was nice. And uh, get some uh, fat into the pan that way in order to uh, properly, and I hope this isn't too hot, I better turn this down a little bit, in order to uh, sear the corned beef. So we're starting off by trying to render some um, beef fat. This was the fat cap that came off of a uh, brisket of um, corned beef. I did actually, <laughs> I get the way it's bouncing around like that. I did actually make the corned beef myself. Uh, I, I got a uh, beef brisket and brined it for about uh, two weeks or so for St. Patrick's Day. Had some very nice corned beef and cabbage. And I had a whole lot of corned beef left over, which last week I uh, slow cooked. So now I have a lot of cooked corned beef to use up. Hence, we are going to be having some uh, Rubens. That is, once we get some fat in the pan. Probably throw in another small piece or two. Somehow I'm thinking I may have turned this up too hot, but... Well, that's one reason why I did this, so I could test my pan before actually putting in the rolls and the meat. Besides, all I'm trying to do is get some grease in the pan. As I said, in order to uh, cook the, the uh, corned beef. So this is not going to be fully, you know, I'm not trying to make beef tallow here. So oh, that would be nice. <clears throat> this pan, by the way, is a stargazer cast iron pan, and you can tell by the star on the uh, handle there. Of course, it also has a big logo saying stargazer on the bottom as well. It's a 10 inch skillet. Which is really all I need, because I'm only making a couple of sandwiches. Yeah, there we go. Definitely starting to get some um, grease in the pan. So why not use beef grease to make some beef corned beef sandwiches. And hello to uh, any folks who have uh, stopped by. I figure most of the folks in TikTok might see this and immediately after about one second or so scroll away and you have every right to do that. I'm not forcing you to stay and watch this. Nonetheless, if anybody is interested enough, well, as I said, this isn't going to take too long anyway. Let's see, we've got some fat in the pan now as it is, so let's get these out these little pieces out. And let's start with I'm afraid I don't have um, <laughs> rye bread today, regrettably. I do have a couple of Kaiser rolls, though. Buttered up. So that should be enough to toast in order to, uh, well, just that use for these sandwiches here. So anyway, that's the first step. 
Besides, I can always use more uh, beef fat if I need to. I put more oil in the pan. I don't expect it to take very long, although it looks like we should probably press these things down. All I'm trying to do is get a little browning on this side anyway. Not sure how successful that was. But it's a start. I'll turn it back over in a moment. Hmm. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, as I said, these are just a couple of Kaiser rolls that I did uh, coat with uh, butter before putting them in the pan, although it doesn't seem like there was much browning, regrettably. What am I hearing? Oh, that's all. Okay. Just my cat. <clears throat> uh, my poor cats have been clamoring to go out today because it is sunny out, unfortunately temperature it does not seem to be rising above 30 degrees today Fahrenheit that is so that I feel is too cold for them to go out and even though they're mad at me well there's nothing I can do about that tomorrow on the other hand the temperature is supposed to go back up to allegedly the 50s or even 60s So we will see how that happens. Actually, it just occurs to me, give me one second. Should have done this before. There we go. It's okay that they're going to be flat sandwiches. Rubens usually are anyway. And let's see if that helped any. Yeah, that's a that's a little better. There we go. All I wanted was a little bit of browning anyway. A little bit of toasting. Still a little, eh, but it'll do. I'm not making this for a cooking contest and I am not a professional chef. It's good enough. I would rather have lightly toasted bread, yeah, like this one, than burn bread. Which means I should probably get a little bit more of that fat back into the pan. Again, I'm, I'm actually using uh, some of the uh, beef fat from the fat cap on the corned beef brisket to get some uh, grease in the pan for actually making these sandwiches. You know, this is like the uh, extra fat that I cut off before I cooked the corned beef. All I, all I really need is a little bit anyway. see a lot of people joining, but as I said, <clears throat> since this isn't your usual TikTok live subject, I mean, I, fur I fully understand if people don't hang around very long. After all, I'm not arguing about politics or religion here on uh, TikTok live. How about that? I'm also not a jailbait girl unfortunately, well, fortunately in my case, but no, I'm sorry for you that I'm not a jailbait girl shaking her thang here and asking for gifts. I should say I'm not asking for gifts. I'm not asking at all. No, seriously, I'm not. I don't even mean it's like, oh, I'm not asking, but I am asking. No, that's perfectly fine. I'm not doing this to try to uh, get the gifts. I'm really doing this to waste time on a Sunday afternoon and make a couple of sandwiches. There we go, that 
that should probably be enough in fact. So let's get that out. Nice thing about this stargazer pan is it's got this little rim along the edge, especially designed so that you can take food or grease out at, at any angle instead of a pouring spout. And with that, here's hoping maybe I should turn the heat up a little bit now. There we go. Uh, I'm proud to have made the corned beef myself. I started doing that several years ago. I actually, one year for St. Patrick's Day, I made my own corned beef. I brined some brisket, and the end result was just so much better than the stuff you get at the store. Not that the stuff at the store is bad, but homemade corned beef that you make yourself is so much better that I swore then I would never be satisfied with the store-bought stuff. It's also very easy, really. It's really no more than just literally soaking it in a brine for a week or two. Similar to your Thanksgiving turkey, but since a corned beef brisket is smaller than a turkey, unless you use a 15-pound brisket like I did, it's easier to brine than your turkey because you can just stick it in the back of your fridge for a week or two. And besides, this is already cooked corned beef, so all I really have to do is heat it up. Yeah, I slow cooked the corned beef for several hours last week. There we go. Check that out. Now there's some color I'd like to see. <laughs> As I said, this is not going to take very long. In fact, now that I've done on this side, throw a little bit of cheese on top. Mmm. Probably half a piece because they're small. I hope I wasn't too hasty actually. Maybe I should have waited. Well, like I said, it's already cooked anyway. There we go. Again, this is corned beef, and that is provolone cheese. Nice and easy. I think after these sandwiches, I'll just make a couple more pieces of corned beef. Was, if I may say so, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> mm. Come on. I do have some sauerkraut as well, um, which I will top these sandwiches in. Wow, yeah, there we go, that's provolone, right? It pulls. So we're off to a good start here. But let's throw in a couple more pieces, shall we? Oh, yeah, there's definitely grease in the pan now. <laughs> My bad. So anyway, I do not work for Stargazer Cast Iron. I've actually had the Stargazer skillet now for at least three years. I think maybe even four. Wow, time sure flies. 
And I definitely have not regretted it. Not the least being that the star emblem of the uh, Stargazer skillet does remind me of the eight-pointed star of chaos. Hint. Which is something personal to me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is definitely much better than making some ramen noodles. <laughs> As I said, this is already cooked corned beef. I've had this in the fridge for a couple of days. So it's nice and solid, but still cooked through. So all I really have to do is, again, Brown the sides of it like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll wait a minute this time or so before putting the cheese on for the next one. In fact, these, I think, I'll put a lot more cheese on. Because, as our friend, everybody's so creative, says, it don't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. Hmm. And there we go. One. And two. <laughs> And that accomplishes what I set out to do. As I said, this was not going to be a long video. One, because I'm hungry and I want to eat. Two, that about covers everything. In fact, it is covered. I also want to be sure this cheese doesn't burn. I, mean, I love brown cheese, but I don't like black cheese. Blackened. Yeah, in fact, I can turn off the heat now. These I will put aside. I'll eat these ones just like this. <laughs> but now that we've done that, let's get a couple of these things away. And let's try to view away from the cast iron a little for a moment or so. And on the other side, where did I put those tongs? There they are. Uh, actually, before the sauerkraut, gotta get out some Thousand Island dressing. The fact that this thing uses, that this recipe, you know, the old Reuben, the fact that it uses Thousand Island dressing, which I forgot to puncture the cap, oh, I removed that. The fact that it uses Thousand Island dressing makes me think it was probably invented by a restaurant. I mean, after all, in the olden days, I doubt they had Thousand Island dressing. In fact, I probably should have put it underneath the corned beef. Oh well, good enough. Besides, all I need is a light bit dab anyway. There we go. To this. Besides, it'll help to flavor the sauerkraut. And there we go. With that, have ourselves a couple of almost Rubens. I say almost because again, I'm afraid this is not rye bread. These are Kaiser rolls. Did not have rye bread this afternoon. 
nonetheless, there we go. Hmm. All right. So far, so good. So, we've accomplished what we set out to do. So, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. And thank you very much for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to check out my TikTok page or my YouTube channel. Thank you once again.